Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Just got a quick one for you tonight. A little bit of information and, uh, yep, some news, I guess. Um, so, first off, I, you know, it's kind of Sundays I kind of take to myself and just mess around with some stuff. And my buddy came over today. He's my best friend. He's been my friend for years. One of the few remaining friends I have left. Um, you know, that hasn't just disappeared. You know how that is. But, um, yeah, he's been really into what I've been doing, you know, but he's been busy, but I got some news lately, which I still can't really tell, you know, everything about yet, but I do have to hire an employee for help with it, so, you know, my buddy, he comes from the same background as me, you know, he's, you know, he, you know, is into the same stuff as me, he's into, like, drawing, painting that I used to be, you know, comic book art and all that stuff, and, uh, you know, I've been trying to, he's been coming over once in a while helping me out, like, randomly here and there, but... Yeah, you know, he's been kind of picking up tips on how to do things, and, you know, he's a better artist, like, when it comes to, like, everything than me, so, I mean, I have no doubt that he's going to be, like, ridiculous pretty soon, and I kind of got proof of that. Um, we designed a knife. Well, I sort of helped him with it, but he sort of, uh, you know, it was mainly his design, but uh, we both liked it so much that we're going to, you know, kind of do a, a run of these, uh, hopefully soon, um, with his... He's gonna do most of the grunt work. I'll probably do the scales or whatever. But um, but yeah. But first, I got a knife that I pimped today, and I'm pretty pretty excited about it because I've always wanted to do one, and I just never have. Nobody's ever sent me one, and you know I've really liked this knife a lot for years. And it's a Kershaw Ram, and my buddy actually had one with him because he carries it a lot. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of knives. He's got like a paramilitary PPT. Uh, I think it was Zula and this guy, so he really likes knives and guns, but he doesn't have a lot of knives. So, show it is the, uh, this partially serrated blade he got this years ago before, uh, you know, we, we only like, you know, we thought serrations were, you know, a must have, you know. You know, I used to be only in a cold steel, like years ago when I first was into knives, so you know how that is. But, you know, this is a good choice. Definitely made a better choice than I did. I bought a Smith & Wesson at this gun show. <clears throat> but, so... We wanted to make this thing look crazy, so I had an idea in my head, so I went with it. So we sandblasted, well I sandblasted the aluminum and put OD Green G10 on there. And it with a little really tiny tight pattern on there, a little tight Anzo pattern. Everything sandblasted, it used to be black coated everything, not the blade. Um, the blade's partially uh, stone washed, I took it back, I took it out to uh, do this video. But I'm surprised this thing got like ridiculously smooth afterwards. I mean, it's a really smooth knife. If you have one, you'll know. I've always wanted to get one. I always kind of just forget about it, I guess. I mean, they're just awesome knives. They're just very smooth. But this was a lot less smooth before I started it. But now it's just like, uh, it's back to brand new. But as you can see, it looks really cool. I mean, it just looks very, has like a very like military look to it. And I've seen these pimped like by one guy does like wood scales on them, but we were talking about that and you see it's not really a knife that really goes well with wood because it's very rough looking, very rugged looking knife. And uh I gotta say, I'm probably gonna grab one of these tonight off of uh uh probably knife center or something. And uh, cause I just love this knife and I've always wanted one and I just there's no reason I don't not have it. You know, it's a great EDC and it's really fun to flip. I kinda wish it was on both sides but you know it's just very smooth like smoother than the axis lock but that flipper just kind of clicks open and close but it was cool because I used liner material for this like very thin liner material not thin but like the thicker liner material because they didn't really need much on there but you could also go with the whole scale too if anybody was interested in that that could definitely happen but uh so I share this with you guys so I have something to show you but it was really easy to do. These scales weren't difficult at all. And it's a little different with the really small pattern. This is smaller than I even usually go ever. So, but it looks nice. I think mine I might go with a uh, reptilian, really tiny. But a very well constructed knife altogether. I mean, Gapco will tell you he's a big fan of the Kershaw Ram. Uh, as am I. Just never bought one yet. Ergonomics are great. It's a great knife all around. 
I figured you guys would appreciate this. I might put a backspacer in there, but he helped me uh, move some furniture, so I figured we'd just get down on some pimping. But the aluminum looks real nice. The black coating is very good. It took a while to get off, but I think next we're going to take off these three dots on the one side and he doesn't, you know, he never uses that side and he doesn't really like the dots, so we're just going to put it on the belt grinder real quick and just take it off. So that's that guy. But all right, so I'm not sure what his knives are going to be called. He's thinking something like Pierce knives. Uh, kind of go with like piercing, but that's also his last name. So, you know, I got no name for this thing, but this one's going to be heat treated and, you know, it's going to be a prototype. And it's also going to be his folder as well. So, here it is. Um, these are my scales I put on it for him. It's got a nice lanyard hole. And it's got this really nice, it's going to be, so you got a picture here ground like that yeah, similar to like modified Tonto or whatever it's gonna have a lot of belly and we were talking about you know on this point here it's good because when you're doing like some exact work and also this he, he he put this on there I cut everything out I did it basically made this myself but he drew it up and I basically showed him how to do it uh, step by step and uh, you know he didn't see the Horton knife the Jeremy Horton knife that has this and uh, he thought of that and he wanted to put on there. And uh, actually, you know, it works really well on the Horton knife, but this one, it just really, really just fits the finger, like really perfectly, just locks into place. Just awesome. And it looks a lot more, like in my uh, toad here, you know, this one, it also is the same thing, but it's a lot more ergonomic, but it doesn't lock in right there. It just keeps your finger in a groove. But this one, it locks in. So if you're doing something like this, you know, you can really press on that spot and just get a lot of pressure on there and it'll stop your finger, stop your thumb. And I think I'm going to be using that on a couple of my knives as well. Maybe some of the new toads that I'll do that. I did it on uh, that bigger toad I did already. So yeah, the, the Horton knife just happened to come when I had the, the inspiration for that. So, But anyway guys, yeah, I threw up a bunch of, a bunch of videos of me doing the uh, paramilitary. And I did that as a favor to everyone. I didn't. I don't really want to put a bunch of stuff up like that because I don't want to hear the bullshit of like what I'm doing wrong here and there. Because I do things the way I do them, guys. I mean, you know, you see the result. There's usually good. I mean, I had some people tell me, "Oh, there's space here and there," and blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Well, no shit." You know, I mean, of course I know that was there. Like any mistakes I see on camera, of course I'm not going to send them back unless they're absolutely flawless. Like, and that was a backspacer issue. The backspacer is slightly raised on one spot. So all I have to do is mill that down the slightest bit and, you know, it won't be boating out anymore. But, you know, I put those up there so hopefully it'll help some people. But, you know, I don't want to do the pattern videos. I mean, I just don't. I want to keep some stuff to myself, you know what I mean? I mean, I can show the Anzo pattern. That's, that's no big deal. I can show making that. I probably will. But, um... And I did that, that one was a little different because it was wood, so it was a lot faster than I usually can mill stuff because there wasn't a lot of resistance there. So, I wouldn't recommend milling wood though, it was kind of difficult. But this is also going to be like, just like his folder. Uh, he's also planning on doing, uh, let me see here if I got something I can show you. The folder will be more like, you know, like this. Maybe bring this back a little bit or up a little bit. But you know, he's gonna have different variations, like a drop point without that like Tonto look. So like a clean, like regular look like this. Which has something black that would work a lot better. But it kind of goes along the theme with my knives and Anonymous's knives, so he's gonna be working with me and you know, he's got a lot of ideas as well. I'm going to put some beveling on here. But, you know, he's working with me because i got some really big things happening soon, guys. And I'll be able to do a whole lot of cool stuff. The grinders are going to be done and, you know, finally be able to do stuff a lot faster. Including the pimp work. 
which I have worked on today, guys. It's just a lot of stuff. Uh, the one that I'm having a lot of trouble with, and dude, you know, if this is that military, this is a pain, man. I gotta redo it for the third time, but I figured out what I did wrong on it. It's just not a very well-constructed knife, like the newer one, but, you know, I figured it out, and I uh, just have to remake one side of the scale, so it won't take me that long. But you can count on getting that back soon. That's my first thing in the morning to do. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. And I thought you'd just enjoy seeing a Kershaw Ram pimped because I love this knife and uh show you some of the future future knife maker. This thing is just amazingly ergonomic. But thanks for watching guys and uh have a good one. Peace.